on April 8th. Protecting your eyes is really important to avoid permanent vision damage. One Hot Springs eye doctor has some really great advice to help you enjoy the occasion, but also protecting those peepers. For an event that's over in just a matter of minutes, Hot Springs optometrist Annette Webb says it's not worth the permanent damage that could happen to your eyes. The intensity of the UV, specifically during an eclipse, um, is really heightened, and so it's the equivalent of like a really severe sunburn on the back of the eye. And that could damage the retina, potentially leading to vision loss. To avoid this, Dr. Webb says regular sunglasses just won't do. Only ISO certified glasses offer the protection that our peepers need. If you go to Amazon when you get them in or before you're ordering, make sure that there's a reference to that ISO 123-12-2, that labeling. If it does not have that labeling, then potentially what you have is not sufficient and you are putting yourself at risk. And Dr. Webb says children and young adults are the most vulnerable because the pupils are larger and the lens inside the eye is real clear. Um, and so they really absorb a lot more UV than our older patients. Dr. Webb encourages everyone to stay excited about this natural phenomenon. Just do it safely. Enjoy the event. Be there. Be impressed by it. It's going to be quite impressive, but please protect yourself. It's too easy. Now, if you do look directly at the eclipse without proper protection, you could experience central vision loss, distortion, or wavy vision. And if that happens, you're going to need to go see your eye doctor immediately. All right. Are we on camera? We yes. yes. All right. So Dr. <laughs> Webb said, of course, you know, those, those kids absorb a lot of the UV light with those young eyes. And she said you can make a mask that really uh, protects them and also makes it kind of more fun because some of those little kids, I can't see y'all, yeah. but some of those little kids. We can't kids, see you either. Right? They don't want to wear the glasses. They're going to knock them off or they're just being stubborn. So you can make a mask out of a paper plate. You just cut some holes out. We have all the instructions on how to do this on this story on our website, KATV. And you guys have the ISO certified glasses right there. Wow. Got them free at the Lehman Library in North Little Rock. So you gotta make sure you have the right gear, okay? Did you design that yourself? Did you draw that? Uh, I saw it on the internets. It's yes. a sun. <laughs> It's so extra. It's I, extra. I like it. But yeah, it's very simple. Teachers, you can do this with your kiddos. Yeah. So make it fun while being safe. A good craft project for yeah. teachers to do, and then maybe they'll wear them. Exactly. The That's the hope, right? <laughs> That's the hope. Okay, I don't think I can keep and these I on. And I can't see during weather, anybody. but okay. I'll do my best. Try All it. Right. Do it, Melinda. I don't know if I can. <laughs> All right, here's a look at our